very unsettling. This gray bunker here. Just very unsettling. It's a simple wood plank. Yeah. Obviously buried before this big tree grew. God, I, the ground's soft beneath my You're feet. You're on graves. I, well, I'm feeling uncomfortable. You want back to the car? Yeah. I mean, I go to graveyards all, all the time to do photo shoots, but I'm feeling uncomfortable because these poor people, they're just, their graves are just... It's sad, but their souls aren't here. Just their bodies. Mm -hmm. And there's not much of that left now either. Return to the earth. It's a natural process. It doesn't bug me. As you drive through the Evergreen Cemetery in Leadville, Colorado, you see a beautiful, well-kept cemetery. But towards the back of the cemetery, you will find over 1,400 forgotten Irishmen. The graves are deeply sunken because the original pine caskets have long since deteriorated. There are no headstones just a few wooden markers and iron gates that surround some of the plots. Their stories and names have been lost to time. The area is referred to as the Catholic Pauper Section. In this section, Dr. Walsh of CU Denver and others are in the process of building a memorial to those forgotten men, women, and children. We interviewed Dr. Walsh on our video podcast, The Strange. The link to that interview can be found in the description of this video. So come along with us as we take you to the Catholic Pauper section to pay our respects. So you see how bumpy this all is? Those are all graves and the graves have sunken in, you know, from the caskets sinking you know, and they probably had very, you know, not very expensive caskets. If not, they might have even been just buried without a casket. They implode. They implode. So let's go take a look. So we're going to walk out and see if we can find these graves. I'm pretty sure I'm in the right place. Um, again, if you didn't check, I, if I, again, if you didn't see, um, if you didn't see the interview that we did um, with the professor that has been studying these graves and the Irish immigrants here in Leadville, definitely check that out. Um, he was very knowledgeable and it's quite interesting um, about these graves and they've been forgotten. And so he's trying to build a memorial um, to bring them back to life. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> So we're here at, what, six o'clock at night? I'm not afraid. <laughs> I'll sleep out here tonight, love. <laughs> Dare you. Dare you. <laughs> I'll drink with me Irish brothers. It's <laughs> like spirits. Come out here with a little Baileys or uh, a Guinness. You can probably get a good conversation going. So all this in here, you can see how... Yeah, all this is sunken. There's like, you can see, especially like right there next to that tree here. These are, there's thousands and thousands of people, miners, that were all buried back in here. I mean, this side you see a lot of headstones, but they start getting, they're sparse, and then they get more over here. And again, we're in the old Catholic section, um, but it's definitely quite... These are real obvious. These ones are obvious over here. Oh, yeah. Look at this wood headstone right here. Oh, bless their hearts. It just breaks my heart that my Irish brothers are, I mean, I don't know if you can see that, how sunken in that is. And and there's wood there from where his headstone was. That's a wood headstone there. Yeah. yeah I All these are sunken in. All, oh my God, there's just hundreds and hundreds. Look at all that back in there. Yeah. It's all sunken in. 
Oh, this breaks my heart. This is both Patrick and I's heritage. Look at this one right here. Good old hair. Just the shadows. You can see it by the shadows. Just one right after another. Rest in peace. This one's about the size of a, of a uh, casket where it would have imploded. Here's, yeah. his, here's his marker. His marker's right here. Mm -hmm. And it totally imploded. I'm like uncomfortable walking Cheap in here. Boxes, baby. This is just very. I'm kind of speechless. Wow. So we think that we're entering what what is called what is called baby land, where they buried all the babies. Do you see how small the graves are? And all the wood here. That was probably a gate of wood that went around. So, yeah. Born and died the same year. Didn't even, it was six, six months. months. This is all baby land. The wood, uh, headstone that one's like a crib. There's a lot of wood in here. Broken wood. Like Look that. at how small these little graves are. This is called baby land. It's so sad. God rest your souls. This is just breaking my heart. I can't get over, we're in such a heavy wood, winter environment, how many wood headstones have survived? All those are wood headstones here in baby land. All these, in, in, they're all imploded. It's creepy. All this is imploded. Look at that, one after another. German here died at the age of five. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're, we're not as much in baby land anymore. Yeah. Look at all these just imploded. Look how close they bury people together. One, two, three, I'm sure there's another one right here. Probably standing on one and probably goes right through. These trees weren't here. No, these trees weren't here. Wow. Seems to go on. Quite a ways. <clears throat> Sorry, this is kind of choking me up. <gasps> and it just gets worse and worse. <sighs> Look at this, Patrick. It's almost like his grave was grave robbed. Pretty near three feet of the six feet down, ain't it? Yeah. This is like making me feel really uncomfortable and I go to graveyards a lot and this has never made, I've never felt uncomfortable in a graveyard. Georgiana Wormer. God, look how deep they 1884 are. 1884 to 1905. Well, rest in peace, dear. I always say that when I call somebody's name out at their grave. <laughs> look at that. Huh? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, his wood headstone got broken off and it's all sunken in. Sure many have wood markers. Yeah, well, a lot of them were, a lot of them were miners. They didn't have a lot of money. Catholic Church probably paid to bury many of them. Them forgotten. Yes, all, all these, those lives are forgotten. Thank God they're building this memorial. This is just really 
if you're going to come here and visit these graves, come in the as the sun's going down. Because as you can see, it kind of highlights where they are. It's more back in there. It's all imploded. This is breaking my... Look at this headstone. Iron. Look at all these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It just goes on and on. Nicola died June 2nd, 1886 at the age of 26 or 28. I yeah. can't tell. They're all imploded. <laughs> 